Hello and welcome to Inside Scoop. I'm Sumi Das, and joining me is Kent German, one of our senior managing editors here at CNET. Kent, thanks for being with us. Sure, no problem. So, big news announced today: uh, SoftBank, a Japanese company, is acquiring Sprint. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about the deal? Sure. Well, Sprint is our third largest carrier in the United States, and SoftBank is a big Japanese carrier, also their third largest. Not and a bank. No, not a bank actually, a wireless carrier, and they are going to be uh, acquiring Sprint for $20.1 billion. So the deal has not yet been approved, so that's going to happen, what, sometime next year, right? Yeah, it could happen next year, it could happen sooner, but basically, you know, it needs to get approval by the uh, U.S. government before mm -hmm. that can go through. And so nothing's going to change for at least, say, eight months or something like that, right? Now, you know, Sprint customers probably won't see changes, uh, probably even a long time off. I mean, this is not a merger. It's not two companies joining together and having to mesh their phones and their plans and their corporate cultures. This is just some, one company buying another. So SoftBank is probably going to keep Sprint intact as it is, so we don't expect customers to see changes for a long time, if they do at all. And what does this mean for Sprint, though? Because this is good news for Sprint, correct? It is. Sprint's in a trying time right now. You know, it was the first carrier to roll out a 4G network, but that was under WiMAX, which is a different technology than what's really popular now, which is called LTE. And Sprint needs to switch over to LTE, but building out a network takes a lot of money. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of equipment. And Sprint really needs the cash and the equipment and just the help to be able to do that. And they're getting a great deal of cash. A big infusion yeah. from this deal. Well, and you know, the, the SoftBank CEO, he is complaining about U.S. Care networks. You know, a lot of us do, says the networks are too slow, there's not enough, you know, data speeds are too slow, and he really wants to make it faster. So this could be a good thing for Sprint uh, customers, because they may see a fast, a better LT network sooner, faster, and uh, sooner than they thought. But, again, several Several years out or a couple years out? Yeah, well, you know, this kind of stuff takes a lot of time to build out. Right. So you, we wouldn't see it for several months. Sprint is gr Sprint's network is growing very slowly. You know, Verizon's up to 400 cities by now. Mm -hmm. Sprint's way, way behind. But hopefully this will uh, speed it up by a few months. And yeah, by the time next year, we see um, in a lot more cities, especially the bigger cities like New York, San Francisco, L.A. So basically the word for Sprint customers is that there is no reason to worry, though. Service no. is certainly not going to get any worse. No, we don't expect any changes for Sprint customers. They'll probably, things will probably remain as they are for a long time. Okay. Kent, thanks so much. Sure. For Inside Scoop, I'm Sumi Das. Thanks for watching.